After properly washing my head on the twelfth day after hair transplant, fifty percent of grafts fell out. Please give me advice. Hi, I had undergone a hair transplant on twenty-six November for twenty-eight hundred grafts. After six days, my doctor told me to use five percent bendoxidil for two times. After using that for five days, my scalp looks white in color. I'm worried and went to my doctor. He told me to clean scalp properly. After I washed my head properly, fifty percent of grafts fell out. Can you please give me some advice? I'm so worried about this. Thank you for your question. You submitted photos after undergoing hair transplant, and you state in your question that after a regimen that involved minoxidil and then proper washing of your scalp, that on day by day twelve that you had lost about fifty percent of your grafts. Well, I can certainly give you some guidance in the absence of an actual physical examination.、Uh, my background is I'm a board-certified cosmetic surgeon. I've been perfor performing hair transplant for over 20 years. I'm very active in hair loss.、So、I've developed a, a system, and I'm the founder of Tricostem Hair Regeneration Centers,、uh, a non-surgical alternative to hair transplant. Using regenerative medicine technology, in fact, people who have had hair transplants actually come to see us for、um, this technology to help them with the healing of their transplants. But I think that for your question, you really should be clear with your doctor and have your doctor guide you as to understanding what is going on. But、uh, I, I'll tell you what we explain to our patients after this type of surgery. First of all, when a graft is placed into the scalp, it heals remarkably fast. So what you, what I've always told patients is that even after a few days, in order for that graft to fall out, you actually have to cut it out. So what you may be interpreting as grafts falling out may be very much of a shedding process. Now, typically, it seems a little bit early for this much shedding to go on, but shock loss、um, of hair happens not only to the grafts but also to the native hairs because of the trauma of surgery. In fact, the development of our hair regeneration system was, in fact, originally intended to improve the healing of grafts. Um, at the time of surgery, so that they would more likely survive, as well as to help to heal the donor area. What we've noticed is that we we found that we also got less shock loss of the grafts, and in addition, we were able to get thickening of existing hairs. Long story short, just to give you a little background of what my approach is for people like yourself, is that. We actually saw that when we used a non-surgical approach for people with thinning hair, not bald people, but thinning hair, the natural volume and density of the existing hair has actually increased significantly, such that it actually exceeded the results of a hair transplant. Now, for people like yourself,、uh, we have patients who come from around the world who have had a hair transplant. And very often, what we have found is when they come in about a month or so after the transplant, and they have a hair regeneration treatment, it actually accelerates the healing process so that the grafts appear to grow a little bit faster. Again, this is all clinical observation, but that's been our our observation. I would suggest that you meet with your doctor and and have them look at your scalp. I think it's not likely that you lost grafts. That more likely you lost scabs. You lost some of the top of the dry skin that goes with the grafts. But the actual follicle is most likely still intact. Now, when that'll grow, you have about a year to wait to see that happen. So again, understanding the physiology and the natural wound healing process should give you some comfort. But I know this first year after a transplant can be very, very tricky, and a lot of times people can look like they have less hair at a certain point from the combination of shedding of grafts and the shedding of existing hairs. 
and it can take up to 18 months to see the results, uh, the final results. So again, I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.